Mm-hmm. Yes. 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 There's light at the end of the tunnel. <laughs> we hope. Um, we'll do anything to get our minds off yeah. of winter. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, so that's why I'm searching out anything with the name spring in it. Right. <laughs> yes, good idea. <laughs> right. Uh-huh. Uh, Canada's uh, largest RV show is underway in Mississauga. It's the Toronto Spring Camping and RV Show. Good one. What's going on? Hey, listen, we all know it's been a long, tough winter. The spring is in sight. And to really kickstart it and to be dreaming about what you're going to be doing this uh, spring and summer, we're back at the big one. That's what it's known as. It's the, uh, the Toronto Spring Camping and RV Show. This man is Shane. Good to see you Today. again, Shane. How Good are you? Good to see you. Thank you. So these are... RV shows have been happening throughout the winter, right? They have been, But yes. this, this is the biggest one. This is the biggest show in Canada. Uh, we have all five halls here at the International Centre, over 500 RVs of every type, every budget. You know what we should do? We should come and do a shoot to try and see how you get all those RVs in here. How long does oh. that take? The bigger ones, yeah. the park models, they start Sunday night. Do they really, eh? Uh, 2 o'clock in the morning. And like kind of coordinating exactly oh, where they go. It's a lot of work, a yeah. lot of effort. Um, every year, every year that we come, there's always a nice big giveaway for people that attend the show. This year, it's uh, this cool looking thing that I just kind of climbed out of. What is this, Shane? This is called a, uh, a NOBO, which is short for No Boundaries. It's a, uh, RV Business uh, two, 2018 RV of the Year. And it's an adventure RV for young, young travelers who want to uh, take their toys. It has a kayak rack. It's got a, a folding back where you can take an ATV or motorcycles. And this is meant to go off-road. And uh, for two to four people, two, to, you know, two couples, and just get away from so it. It's not, it's not really something for the family. No, it's not. Right? No. Because let's get a little tour around the side here because you have the whole kind of cooking station all set up here, right? You got your hot plates. You got your cooler. There's something unique about this cooler too, isn't it? It's a Wi-Fi cooler, so you can kind of adjust the temperature from your uh, absolutely from your phone. phone. Right on, and then this just even slides right in there. Oh, that moves in like that, and you're ready to travel. Worked out just like we rehearsed it. <laughs> So in the back here, so this is what's known as the kind of the toy hauler. Exactly. Right? Yeah, you you would uh, move those cushions to the back, and you would drive your ATV or your motorcycles, and uh, and then you know park them in in this garage. Right. And then when that's sleep time, then you and then when it's park sleep, yourself in yeah. here. When it's sleep time, you roll it back out and put the cushions down, and you're ready to go. What's this something like this go for? This one is probably around eighteen to twenty thousand, uh, and we're giving it away at this show. So what do what do people have to do? They have to come to the show. You got to come to the show and uh, enter uh, enter their name in, uh, in an iPad and the Goraving Activity Zone and, and for a chance to win this No Bow Plus. About, and that's where uh, we that's where we are right now, kind of the Go Goraving yeah. Activity Zone. Okay, kind of a, one of the main hubs here for the uh, TVs here. We got lots of. We have some uh, singers on the stage on the weekend. Cool. Uh, a lot of things happen. Right on. Okay, runs all the way to Sunday here at the International Center is the Toronto Spring Camping and RV Show. We're gonna be hanging out here all morning long, showing off some kind of neat and cool things. I'm heading back up though. Get a little snooze before we have a little tour around. Oh, there's tons of space in here. Having a good lazy time here at the uh, the big one. It's called the Toronto uh, Spring Camping and RV Show. I want to introduce Josh Allen from Lazy yes, Acres. How you doing, Josh? Good, good to meet you, man. Yeah, buddy. What's going on? Um, you've been doing this for a little bit, eh? Yeah, I've been here for 12 years. So right. I started when I was 18 and uh, like a little baby, and now I'm growing up. Look at so, you all grown yeah, stuff. Yeah, huh? I'm doing so well. Right. So Lazy Acres is where? Uh, we are five minutes outside of Aurelia to the east side, right on Highway 12. Okay. But you you are like one of the biggest ones here. Like how many how many RVs did you bring? We brought 51 trailers, so yeah, it was, uh, it was pretty wild, yeah, yeah. Like, how'd you get them all, like, logistically to get them all down here and in here? And... Well, we hired a company to bring them down from Aurelia, right. and then um, uh, we basically drive them in with trucks and we push them into place by hand. Uh, yeah, okay, so. um, you wanna, what do you want to show off? This one here? Yeah, let's What's show this? off the deck on this guy. Okay, so what is this one here? This is a Momentum by Grand Design. Okay. Um, it's a new floor plan for us. Uh, this is like the patio party package right here. So that comes down? That comes down, flip okay. that out to the left there. Flip yep. this out to the left, That's right. okay. And then it's still coming down together. So this is considered, this isn't a toy hauler? This is a toy hauler. So what happens though is when you disconnect these cables, this goes all the way down as a ramp and you can drive your toys up and in 
um, motorbikes, golf carts, And scooters. how popular do these toy haulers become? Really popular. They're growing yeah. in Canada now for sure. Are they? Yeah. So, but it also can be a yeah. So it's going to flip right up like this. And then this comes out. Right. And sits in like that. Oh, me, me first. Okay, buddy. there we go. And what kind of weight can that support? 3,000 pounds. Really? Yeah. Hey? Yep. Nice. How do you guys do, like, each and every year? Do you sell a lot of units? Yeah, yeah. last year we almost sold 2,000 trailers. Um, but at the show, it's... Uh, I was going to say, in this weekend? No, no, no. <laughs> say, whoa, weekend, man, yeah. set records. Yeah, yeah, we'll be happy if we sell about 50 this weekend. So that'd be a good show. Right. But, yeah. but uh, people coming through just kind of... People who are experienced RV goers and then a lot of newbies, uh, too? It's, it's a little bit of both. Um, uh, yeah, and a lot of people just come here just to, just to see what's new every year as well, right? Not necessarily to right. buy, and there's parts and accessories too. So, so this is actually so this is the exact same thing pretty much, yep. except it does have the, the ramp, so you bring the, the exactly. trailer up here. So, right. this one's got the ramp down, drive the bike up and in. Right. And people bring their tape measures just to be sure everything can fit. Yep. Okay. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> well, let's Very let's well. come in and have a seat, man. Very we got uh, this one's kind of cool because it's got some Bluetooth. Yeah, it's got some Bluetooth. It's right. the Fosgate system. Do you guys yeah. mind if we turn on some tunes? Yeah, no problem. Is that, is that okay? Yeah, go ahead. What do you, what do you, what do you got? Oh, Some Led Zeppelin. Why not, right? Good cruising tunes. Nice, buddy. Come see Josh. Yes. Lazy Acres. The big one. Toronto Spring Camp and RV Show going all, week long, all weekend long. International Center, Mississauga. Crack it! With over 500 RVs in here at the International Center, the big one as it's known, or the Toronto Spring Camping and RV Show. You have all those RVs, but you also got nice big pickups like this to be pulling fifth wheels. But this truck isn't for pulling a fifth wheel. This is for a truck camper. I don't know anything about a truck camper, so we got Jonathan here to help us out. Hey, buddy. How hey. are you, man? Hey, very good. Very nice good. to meet you. Thanks hey, for coming. You too. Where, are you guys, where are you from? Uh, we're from Camp Out RV out of Stratford. Yeah, Stratford yeah. representing. Nice. Um, so take us through the, the truck camper. Sure. Yeah. And like, how popular are these? Uh, quite popular. It's a, it's a very niche market. You know, there's not too many dealers that actually handle these. Uh, and there's a couple different brands out there. Uh, different qualities available, but great way to travel, great way to camp. Uh, this one here, they're made in Canada and they're four season. In Canada, how important is that for people? Very important. Made uh, in Canada is a big thing. Everybody yeah. loves uh, you know, local product. Would this be compared, are you debating over this, over let's say a fifth wheel, because you got the truck already? Uh, you get a lot of people that will look at different items, uh, you know, in terms of which way they want to go. I find a lot of people that are looking at these are also looking at Class B motorhomes. Uh, it seems to be a, uh, a very popular way to camp just because it, it's independent and it's self-sufficient. Do you need a bunch of buddies to help you take this off? Or? Absolutely not. No, one person can do it. You can unload one of these in, uh, in a matter of about 10 minutes. There's, and how do you do that? Uh, so there's uh, attachment points that all disconnect. These are spring-loaded, they call them tie-downs, right. and they're connected to some uh, access points that are mounted right onto the frame. Uh, and then the jacks are all remote-controlled power. So all you would physically do is hit a button, you put them up and down, and it would lift that thing right off the truck, and you can pull right out and lower it and down. And that's what people would be looking for, because exactly. you, you could be using the truck. So you can actually use this, take it to a campground, take it off the truck, right. and then still use your truck for sightseeing. Keith, you want to pop in there to see what it looks like? Like, how much space do we got in there, John? Quite a bit of room. Yeah. You'd be surprised. It, it's actually got everything you need. There, there's a full kitchen. you got a bathroom, including a toilet and a shower. There's a full queen-size bed in there. And there's even an extra uh, dinette that'll drop down into a bed in case you did have somebody staying with you. But ideally, it's for two, for a couple. Ideally, for a couple. Right. Yeah. Uh, what kind of truck? Uh, so on this, this particular model right here, we have it sitting on a three-quarter ton heavy-duty truck. Uh, most of these campers, once you get into this size, you need a heavy-duty. So minimum three-quarter ton, but a lot of the times we will recommend a one ton, but it depends on the type of camping that you're doing. Right. Uh, price range? Uh, price range on the campers, they can range anywhere from, in, again, in this brand, you're going to be talking anywhere from about fifty to $65,000. Okay. Right on. This was this is a, the Canadian brand. Northern Light is the name. Northern of Light, yeah. Right Northern Light uh, truck campers made out of Kelowna, British Columbia. We have three different models on display here. Cool. We'll come see uh, come see Jonathan and the whole gang here. Camp out RV, uh, the big one. Spring, Toronto Spring Camping and RV Show. That's why they call it the big one, I think, because the other name, the other title, is so it's loud. It's a big name. <laughs> we'll show off some of the interactive <laughs> stuff when we come back next half hour morning. Bye. <laughs> Tons of interactive stuff to do here at the big one. We're with the uh, Fish TV booth here in the Go RV section with Shannon, who's the show director. <laughs> How you doing, Shannon? I'm doing great. 
<laughs> what do we got? Is this a, oh? This is a marlin. Is it a marlin? Yeah. Keep it going. Keep, no, keep, going, keep Well, it's going. not biting anymore. Well, yeah, it will. Oh, well. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Here, Ron, can I oh, that you want me to do it? Yeah, you, you take you take over, Ron. I want to take a walk with uh, take a walk with Shannon. Shannon, you want to pass your rod out there? Wonderful. Thank you. How you doing? Good, I'm great. Good to see you. Let's see you, Pearly White. It's good to see you again. Uh, back for another year. You uh, you organized this whole baby. Yes, it's a great feeling when it all comes together, and uh, you know, it's it's all for the public to come on down right. and. It's huge too. It is. It's the big RV show. We've got over 500 RVs on site, every type for every budget. Right. What's uh, what's new this year? What's new this year? We have great features to see. Okay. One being the green screen right here. Okay, so what's can, this all about? You can come on down and uh, get an action photo taken. You come on over here, and you pick your background. Okay, can we come on? Come on in here with me, so we can we can come in together. We got Mark here. Hey, Mark, how are you, buddy? Hello. Maybe Mark okay. can pick a great background. You want to pick a great background? What's the best background there, Mark? Uh, Lake Louise seems to be. Let's great do. Well, let's huh? do Lake Louise. Yes. Oh, that is pretty. All right, so get you can here. get your picture taken. Okay. Smile. Ready? Yeah. Three, two. There we go. Nice. Now, oh, if, you, if you want to, you can put your email in and you can get a print and your picture emailed to you. And then you enter into the contest, which is a seven day, six night motorhome vacation. Really? Okay. Mm -hmm. So let's, can we print this off, Mark? Absolutely. So print, print that off. So that's just one of the giveaways. We talked with Shane earlier on. If anybody missed it, you have this no boundaries set up over here. This Nobu, this is also a giveaway? It is, yes. The whole family camping package worth over $15,000. And we also have a, a list of prizes that you can win aside from this uh, family camping package. We have a Coleman package. And, you know, if you come on down to the show, we've got it all on display. Look at wow. that picture. Nice picture. Okay, so you have to take a picture and give your email, and then you have a chance to win the seven-day RVing excursion. It's a, it's a motorhome vacation. Okay, right on. Okay, so it's on right now at the International Center in Mississauga. It runs, it all, it runs all weekend long, and it's just not for the RVing types. Like Anybody that's interested right. in RVing, any spring camping stuff? If you're new and if you've never camped, you can come on down and take the RV 101 seminar okay. and learn all about it and see right if on. it's something for you. And if you just stick to the winter and you just want to be pushing spring along a little bit more. This is a good way because it's called the Toronto Spring Camping and RV Show. It's in the International Center all the way until Sunday. All right, that was great. Perfect.